Novella, it's so great having you here today. We're Thank you. very um, happy that you were able to come, and mm -hmm. I know your time is very valuable, and we're, we're glad that you're spending some of that time with us today. Thank you. Talk a little bit about listings. Okay. First thing I want to ask you, what do you do to prospect for listings? Normally what I do is, um, I'm a big Buffini fan, so I prospect with repeats and referral clients, and that gets me a lot of business. Do you feel that prospecting is important for an agent? Absolutely. You've got to prospect, otherwise you're in the peaks and the valleys all the time. Sure, sure. What do you do to determine a value of a listing? Uh, normally what I do is I will uh, pull all the tax record information and then I'll pull the, um, all the listings active, um, closed, and expired. And then I'll look through those. I'll actually go to the neighborhood and preview the neighborhood so I kind of know what the house looks like before I get inside of it. And then um, I will, uh, you know, evaluate which houses I need to take. Sometimes I'll take all of them if I'm having a problem with the, the value. But normally that you'll come up with a, a good price that way. Well, you know, sometimes we just can't find good comps. Mm. What do you do whenever you can't find good comps? I call my appraiser. <laughs> very good answer. Very good answer. Well. When you get that, uh, that call for a seller wanting you to come out and list their house, mm -hmm. what are some of the things you do before to prepare for the listing appointment? Uh, to prepare for it, what I normally do is, is you know, drive through the neighborhood, preview the houses, uh, get as much information from the seller uh, that I can, you know, size, square footage, updates, uh, anything that they think I need to know to you know, get ready for that listing appointment. Well, and then when you go to that listing appointment, what are some of the things that you take with you that you carry and, and kind of walk us through what you do at the appointment? Um, normally at the appointment, um, I greet the seller and then I ask them if we can just tour the house. I find that's a good way to build rapport and to, um, you know, find something in common with them so that they kind of trust you in the very beginning. And then once I've toured the house, made a little few notes, and then we'll sit down and actually start talking and do the listing presentation. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Anything specifically that you take as far as um, the CMA and the, the, do you take a listing agreement with you? I take a listing agreement all filled out, ready to go, so that I can ask for, the, um, for their, their um, job. I guess it's a job. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Employment. It's, it's employment. Ask for their definitely. employment. Yeah. That's a job. Well, after they've signed that, what are some of the things that you do after they've you know, hired you to list their house? In the days, you know, almost okay. immediately after. Um, normally, professional pictures by a professional photographer, then a virtual tour. Of course, then it hits all the websites. And then I also do flyers to uh, agents who sell in that neighborhood and then I'll follow it up with a phone call. So there are specific agents or groups of agents that tend mm -hmm. to, to be in certain neighborhoods? Yes, yes. Oh, awesome. How would an agent find out who those, those particular agents are if they don't know? You can actually pull it up on the MLS. You can pull up the neighborhood sold and you can look down at the very bottom and it'll have the name of the agent who sold it and then I get their contact information and call them or email them. Oh, really, really good. What do you, well, as far as home staging, and keeping the house in its condition you know, mm -hmm. acceptable by the marketplace, what are some of the things you do with that seller to keep that home up and staged? Uh, normally what I do is um, I'll sit down and have a talk with, if they have children or teenagers, I ask them to be a part of the team to make sure the house is ready to, to put on the market and show. And then if they have pets, I ask them to put air fresheners in there or take the pets out so that they're not there you know, when the house is being shown. And then of course I tell them it's on stage every day. So they have do to make you, sure it's ready. Do you give them any advice as far as staging or do you have any, any materials? I do. I have a video that I leave for them mm. uh, and that kind of takes me out of the middle. I tell them I give it to everybody so you know I'm not singling them out as the only person that should get that video or if I think that it's going to be something beyond that I'll have a home stager come in and take me out of the middle. Yeah, I, I like the idea of the video. Mm -hmm. That's the first. What are some of the things that you do in addition to just putting the listing in the MLS in order to market it? Uh, agent open houses. I do public open houses. Uh, and then I also advertise in uh, easy home search. Oh, that, pu that mm -hmm. print publication. Mm -hmm. I get lots of that. calls off of that. Good, good. Do you have any tips for negotiating either with the seller or you know, during contract ratification? Mm -hmm. Anything? The only tip I can give is to be really proactive about the offer, to be excited about it. Uh, and then what I do is I go through the, the offer, tell them, please don't, you know, let's go over the offer first. And then once we get through with that, we'll do the seller's net. Because right now your house is sold. If we decide that we want to buy it back, it'll be whatever you decide you can't part with is what you're going to buy it back for. I like that. I like that. It's already sold. You, mm -hmm. You're going to buy it back. Mm -hmm. 
When do you present gold, ERA Gold Star property program? That's normally at my listing appointment. Um, I tell them that it sets them apart from all the other companies in town because your house is going to be show ready, sell ready, and ready to go. And priced right. And priced right. And that's a, yeah. that's a sellable mm -hmm. listing in, in my book. Yes. When do you, at what point do you add the seller to your sphere of influence? Immediately. I want him in my sphere of influence so that I can uh, send him emails, text messages, and also um, uh, flyers of other houses that he may know somebody that might want to purchase. You know, sometimes our sellers end up moving out of town, mm -hmm. out of state. Do you ever use those opportunities to do an o, um, OGR? Yes. Outgoing referral yes. with the relocation mm -hmm. department. Absolutely, that's that's wonderful. They feel like we have we are providing another service to them. And it's beneficial to you, mm -hmm. the agent. It is sure. About how many listings do you feel that an agent can carry without needing the assistance of an assistant? Um, I think fifteen to twenty, and you probably need an assistant at that point. Uh, I think there's so much paperwork that's involved and so many important factors involved in getting that home sold that I think you need somebody when you have about 15 to 20 listings. 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as hiring this person, what do you think it would cost? You know, do you have any experience with, with you know, average of what it may yes. cost? Yeah. Yes, I just hired an assistant uh, and she makes in a range of 10 to $15 an hour and she works about 25 hours a week. Wow, wow. So, but they can be a, a really great help. Oh, they can be an, a great asset. I mean, I can't believe how free I am right now with her doing the flyers, the flyer boxes, the lock boxes, you know, all the things that you have to work in the rest of your day. And I can be in front of buyers and sellers. Yeah, you can do what you do best. Mm -hmm. Well, Novella, you did great today. I'm thank so you. happy that you stopped by and talked to us. Can't, can't tell mm -hmm. you thank you enough. We oh, appreciate you thank here. Thank you so much. Thank you for Bob. having me. Thank you. Thanks, Novella.